Hi everyone, I'm going to do a quick overview of my Disney collection. This is for Fergmaster, he asked me if I would do it and I mean it's something that I was supposed to do ages ago and was going to do anyway but he's on a Disney kick at the moment so he really wants to see this so this is for you Ferg. Pretty much it's just these two sections and as you can see it's just yeah no space so everything's just crammed in so I'm probably gonna have to take some stuff out but this is what it looks like from the outset I would really like to have like a whole you know all of this maybe Disney um, but I just haven't got the space at the moment so as it is it's all crammed in anyway this is the top shelf you've got some blu-rays there and the bigger box sets some still books and some little characters dotted around and then down here, more Blu-rays up there, and normal DVDs, uh, no order, <laughs> really rubbish, I've got a mix of live action and classics, so, okay, let's see how we can do this. Let me just take my characters off, and then we'll have a look. Right, okay, obviously at the front, we have Pinocchio Steelbook, this is pretty sweet still book um, if you want to see any of these in more detail uh, probably if you just search on my channel I should have Joker get down if you, just, if you search on my channel um, the name of a title it should come up in an update but um, the still books have got their own video I think Disney still books or something so have a look at that that is a real nice still book maybe my favorite of the Disney's thus far that's um really cool one and then we have Monsters Inc which is kind of unique because it's huge it's fat as hell Monsters Inc and then Ratatouille of course it's a cute one I'd not put it on my shelf yet um, because it's in a pile for an update but Cars 2 which I got from Cruella's fur coat who was awesome enough to send me that Still sealed at the moment, I haven't watched it still, but that will be going on the shelf next to Cars. And Cars is actually under there. I'll show you that in a minute if I can. Okay, we have Toy Story 1 and 2. Toy Story 3, but actually that's just the slipcase that my mum gave me inside there is bolt Toy Story 3 is my Buzz Lightyear um, set which I'll just cut to now there it is it's on a completely different shelf because it doesn't fit but that's a special Buzz Lightyear version of Toy Story 3 on blu-ray I feel like this video is all over the place okay um, and then we have up I really like that set that's the super set with like five discs or something stupid in it um, Dumbo, which actually I have Dumbo with the slipcase as well now, so I'm saving that one though because if it goes out of print, you know, it's good to have. We have Fantasia 2 Movie Collection, which is Fantasia and Fantasia 2000 on Blu ray. And then we have a Christmas Carol. Which is just the slipcase because for some reason, oh, because I took it to work with me, the actual disc is on my table, but that's the slipcase. Princess and the Frog on Blu ray. Bambi Diamond Edition. Cute one. And then some more still books. We've got Sleeping Beauty, which um, actually comes with a slipcase which is kind of cool, kind of shiny slipcase. Beauty and the Beast, this one is the iron pack. This feels proper heavy because I've got all the discs in it. Wally Steelbook. And of course Cars, which is really cool because I've got Cars 2 now. So that's that, let's move those out of the way. Okay, here we have some of the um, kind of book sets and different box sets 
So we have Aladdin. This is the US release and it's special edition collector's DVD gift set. Um, come out quite a few years ago now, so way out of print. Two disc special edition DVD, seven exclusive character portraits, DVD companion book and film frame from the movie. Um, it's really cool, it comes like that. Again, if you want to see this, go to, I think I did a Disney overview quite a while ago. So if you go to that, I think I look inside it. Definitely look inside it somewhere. Um, I think these should be switched around, actually. Okay. We have The Lion King. This is the US release special edition. Again, the same style as Aladdin. Um... Same stuff, disc DVD, two disc DVD, character portraits, um, and the book. And that's what it looks like. Sadly, I still haven't got The Lion King on Blu-ray because I'm desperately hoping to get that HMV limited edition, which is becoming less and less likely because I, I'm going on holiday and I just can't afford it at this point. But I need to get it soon. Otherwise I'm screwed. I really want it. It's the wooden one. Cruella's fur coat has got it. I really, really want it. Um, hopefully I can get it soon. Anyway, there's Beauty and the Beast. This is the Diamond Edition um, book set. Now, I think this was the last of these book sets that was released. Obviously Beauty and the Beast came out on Blu-ray not that long ago. Um, and they released this version after these ones so I don't know if this will be the last one but they only released this book set on DVD I had to get the blu-ray separately and yeah it's just book and two disc DVD Whoop. okay and then we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs collector's edition this came out when the Blu-ray came out of Snow White and I don't have Snow White on DVD on Blu-ray which is stupid this has got the book and the DVD and obviously I was collecting those so that's why I got that one and then Snow White again this is the the original one where the DVD came out many many years ago this is the original set way way hard to find um, And it's actually still sealed. And there's a book in under there as well. And they have the Jungle Book, 40th anniversary DVD. Same thing. One of my all time favourites. I need to get that on Blu ray, I can't wait for that. Um, 101 Dalmatians. I love these sets, they're just awesome there you go loving the shiny slip case on that bad boy and then Sleeping Beauty the 50th anniversary platinum edition 2 disc DVD and book set um, books on the top of that one that one didn't come with a slip case but yeah that's the same kind of style as the steel book that I got on blu-ray as well Okay, that is the book type things. Ah, uh, it looks so nice without all the crap in front, but I'm afraid I can't right, keep have to it excuse like me for this section because it's just a big jumble, so you're gonna get a mix of Blu-rays and DVDs thrown at you. So um first one is Alice in Wonderland on Blu-ray. That's HMV exclusive, I think, with the changeable art cards. It's quite a nice addition. Um Race to Witch Mountain, Blu-ray. Love the original of that film, haven't seen that one yet. Okay, I'll try and get the Blu-rays out and get those over with. A Bug's Life. This is the Region A or the US release because ours didn't come with a slipcase and I'm sorry but I need that pretty slipcase. And there's Dumbo with a slipcase, like I said. Tron 
Legacy, Double Play. I love that film. And speaking of Tron, I've got... Ah, there it is. Just thinking, I've got live-action stuff here, but there's probably a few live-action Disney's scattered around my other, the rest of my collection. Um, but, like, I don't really consider that Disney, because it kind of... It is, but it looks a bit weird on the shelf, so it's just kind of shoved over here. Um, where did it go? Over there. But that is Tron. And then we got Tangled on Blu-ray, which I think is the last Blu-ray. You've got The Little Mermaid, um, 2D Special Edition. And for Cruella's fur coat, who thinks that he's got a fake, um, that's my edition. That's the hologram. And I'll just show you inside in case you've opened it. I don't know if you have. But those are the discs. I love that film. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Peach Dragon. That's an old one. Popeye. Which I love. I think this one's got one of the songs cut, which sucks, but I went to Popeye Village in Malta and for that reason, pretty diehard fan of this film. Holes. Really love this one. It's just good fun. Bugs Life on DVD. 101 Dalmatians live action with the legendary Glenn Close. It's Cruella de Vil. Toy Story 1 and 2 on DVD. Basil the Great Mouse Detective, one of my favourites. Oh, childhood in a DVD right there. Lady in the Tramp, 2D Special Edition. Oh, I love that film. And then we go over here. We've got Enchanted. Um, what a great film. I love this one when it came out. Uh, this actually is... A Woolworths exclusive, which is pretty cool because, like, Woolworths shut down um, in the UK. And it's got the, like, lenticular front where it goes from cartoon to film. Love that. Um, two editions of Mary Poppins. we got Mary Poppins, the 45th anniversary, which that slipcase is just awesome. I love it. Um, look at my floor. Guess I'm going to be doing some Disney rearranging tonight. Mary Poppins, um, the 40th anniversary, which is kind of sh like five years later they released the 45th anniversary. Mulan. That's a musical masterpiece edition, by the way. Sword in the Stone, love that one. Oliver and Company, love that one. I've got the... Uh, I'll just pull it out now actually while I'm here. That's the original kind of DVD that came out. And then the 20th anniversary came out. And look at that cover. That cover is a beaut with a slipcase embossed. <gasps> Had to be done. But it's always good to keep the original Disney's as well because it's Disney after all. Cinderella special edition. Classic. Dumbo. Again, Dumbo on DVD. The Black Cauldron, along with Basil, the Great Mouse, Detec Mouse Detective, one of my favourites and one of the more underrated ones. And darker ones, if you ask me. Black, Black Cauldron, awesome. Robin Hood Special Edition, another one of my favourites. You'll hear me saying that a lot with Disney, but... Come on, can't go wrong. Alice in Wonderland Special Edition don't have Alice, on, Alice in Wonderland on Blu-ray, which needs to be rectified. Okay, just go up here quickly. We have Hocus Pocus, classic live action, Halloween, Flick, Freaky Fri Friday with J Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan. I love that one. Uh, I grew up with the original Freaky Friday. My mum is like a die-hard fan of that, but I prefer that. The Brave Little Toaster, oh, 
come on now that that's not even released over here I don't think yeah that reminds me of my childhood big time and I guess technically it's not really like Disney film per se it's just like Disney presents but that is one film amazing the rescuers I don't have the rescuers down under which I need uh, another live action kind of old school Swiss Family Robinson that's a long film. Okay. We have Aladdin box set, which is Aladdin the Musical Masterpiece, The Return of Jafar, and Aladdin and the King of Thieves. It's all three in there in that box set. It's pretty cool. Uh, Beauty and the Beast Diamond Edition, uh, which is the DVD and the Blu-ray in DVD casing. Now... Basically, the, that's got no discs in it. The discs, I got this to put in the iron pack. So, that's that. Monsters, Inc. Um, I love this edition. This is one of the first DVDs that I ever got. I remember um, ordering it from Play.com way back in the day. And it's Digipack. And it's been watched so many times. I absolutely love Monsters, Inc. As you can... As you saw, I've got the still book now, but I always have a soft spot for that edition. Um, Pinocchio, 70th anniversary. Obviously, I've got the still book of that now. I do love that slipcase. Peter Pan, the two disc special edition. Um, that came with the book, which I've got somewhere down there. I'm not going to get it now, but that came with the book. And. Bambi, two disc special edition. That came with a thumper toy, which is squished down there. The Aristocats, I love that one. Um, yep, my nice slipcases. Ratatouille with a nice slipcase, two disc special edition. I told you these were all mixed up, but I've tried to put some of the Pixar's together. The Incredibles 2 disc special edition. Don't have that on Blu-ray yet. And Finding Nemo. Uh, my, I remember my friend bought me this back from America when she went to America. It was like my first Region 1 DVD, I think. Um, and yes, like Monsters, Inc. Watched many a time. Love it. Can't wait for the Blu-ray. Finding Nemo. And then I think we just got some um, live action left. Heavyweights, Shipwrecked, Classic. Blackbeard's Ghost, not even watched that yet. Return to Oz, Dark. One of our dinosaurs is missing. Bit of a classic. So Dear to My Heart. Is that in the classics list? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Escape to Witch Mountain, and Return from Witch Mountain, which stars my beloved Betty Davis. I love those films. As I said, I've not watched the remake or the kind of reboot of this yet, but grew up with those films and very much love them. The Ugly Dachshund, or The Ugly Dachshund, depending on how you say it. Right, my camera just shut off and, like, completely turned itself off and won't turn on again i'm filming this on my phone um hopefully it probably looks better actually um but i've I've never really used it but anyway i've only got like two left the ugly da dachshund which obviously i had one had little oswald before he sadly passed away and i had to get this that front cover is so cute i've not um i've not even watched it actually which is sad but that is awesome. And then The Watcher in the Woods, starring Betty Davis again. This, I haven't seen this for years, um, but this is one creepy-ass film. Um, let me tell you that. It's like a horror film for kids. Okay, I probably haven't watched it since I was a kid myself, but it's scary as shit. Look at that cover, right? You've got Betty Davis looking as mean as anything. This is one of her last roles by the way, and then look at that, you've got like the image of like, 
this kid's face, or I think is a kid's face. Freaky as hell. Um, yeah, bam. Some Disney live actions. And I think that's it. Um, like I said, there may be a couple more scattered around um, of kind of live action ones, but I'm pretty sure that is the whole collection. Um, let me just show you my floor where I've just dumped everything down, ready to put it back. Yeah. Complete tip. Maybe I could put some better organisation into it um, now, but yeah, I'm going to clear this up. Thank you for watching.